let's talk about uh, Craig Jones a little bit, that invitational, because you had a couple questions. So I heard that ADCC is paying, because Craig is paying their guys, right, offering real prize money. There's this new argument now that basically what's happening is ADCC in response is paying their athletes under the table. And then athletes are taking that money, accepting it. And there's like an argument that it's watering down the competition for other other competitors because like it's under the table type shit. So like, how do you put it? Somebody might be making like 50 grand and then under the table. And then like some guy who was offered 30 grand under the table now is asking like for 50 and shit like that. So like, do you have any thoughts on that as far as being offered under the table money? Here I am enjoying myself out on the beautiful Black Sea in Odessa, Ukraine, and athletes are calling me up. They're saying, Craig, is it true some athletes in that other tournament are getting secret show money? And I say, gee, I don't know, but yes, it's true. Guys, for the other tournament, if you're offering secret show money deals to certain athletes, other athletes are gonna hear about it. And what is a smart athlete gonna do? It's gonna ask for the same deal or more money. And now you're in a situation where you're gonna to have to pay athletes more money anyway so why are you doing it in the form of show money why don't you do it in the form of prize money which is all we ask for anyway you were able to do that for the women so why can't you do it for both divisions and raise them both appropriately again you raise prize money for women in the name of equality but secret backroom deals go contrary to that goal of equality for prize money in the sport Flo tried doing that with our card well, i got paid like 15 to wrestle taylor that's what and i only referenced them again even though we're off the topic because that's what was the catalyst and that's what initiated the cancel culture me getting in and Flo ended up firing the guys that work for them that told me a lot of the stuff and they got fired for their own reasons too but joe kenya and dan lobdell they all got put off of Flo, and they were with them for years and um they that was who was inside running the show telling me to market the fight as such the match with tate david and tell him you know telling me the numbers of what other women were getting offered but declining that's the thing i guess that's why they don't make it public because you know they try doing it under the table but i think it's bullshit because what are you going to pay me 15 and this guy 25 and i have the right to complain no i agreed to 15 david's got more followers y'all made a deal with him for 25 it's nobody else's business if you're happy with 30, you took 30. This guy got 50. You're salty now because you found out about his money. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. Yeah. I guess because works. if it was you're disclosed, if it was like public information, there wouldn't be like any room to argue. If you, you get that part, that's, I guess, what the issue is. Like if, if the I money. I don't think there's any room to argue with what one man's paying another man is between him and that man or that company and that business. You know what I mean? Whether it's public or not, that whole right, that feeling of a right to be mad because of somebody else's bag, that's hater, weird, weak mentality that I just can't resonate with. Okay. And um, with with Craig Jones, and then they I guess got 75. Chimizo got 50. David was getting 25. Downey was going to get 15. I was happy with my bag. Fuck it. Y'all eat too. Y'all are world champs. Y'all got more followers. Y'all earn your bag. What are you talking about? And then you got the women that want the same as me because they're finding out how much I'm getting, or them. Then they got no clout. Well, while I have a world title, I'm more, I'm more no, I, I have more accolades than you. Like using this whole, yeah, that's female shit to me. I can't, I can't resonate with it. You know what I mean? I get paid what I'm happy with and what I'm worth, and I don't worry about another man's pockets. If he's getting more than me, great, brother. If you're getting less than me, good for you too, bro. Like, what do you mean? You know what I, I guess mean? okay like, I okay how about it. this how about this because i don't really maybe have a it makes thought sense. but i'm like let me um throw this other narrative out there maybe about it um because I, th- I guess this might be what craig is talking shit about like the fact that they weren't offering money without the craig jones invitational competing with them so it's like that, they're offering that's the point all right guys i wanted to go over one thing so the prize money comes from abu dhabi that's an ongoing discussion I've been doing it for a while and I'll do my best, okay? With that said, there's something I can do from our end. 2019, 2022 was break even. This one's gonna be profitable. I don't know how profitable it's gonna be because we're going crazy on the show. You guys will see in August, it's gonna be out of this world. But my plan is to make sure every athlete walks away with something. What that number is, as of now, I'm looking for $2,500 each. So everyone will get at least $2,500. Now, if you win a division or something, then you don't get it. But at least everyone will get that minimum amount. It could be more 
once I have the final numbers in, um, I don't mind bumping it up even higher. I just, that's going to be the bottom uh, floor, okay? So the cat's out of the bag. Uh, number two, if any of you are in deep shit and you need something a little bit up front, you can let me know. I don't mind doing it, but, um, you know, don't go use this to go get a new iPhone or something. <laughs> you know, this is to help with training. So my plan is to pay at the end, but for those who are in, like, trouble, I don't mind doing a little up front, okay? We'll use the honor system, all right? Thank you, guys. Now that, that yeah. Craig has this competition happening, that, that has initiated in Sparks this reaction from ADCC to prevent their athletes. So Craig better, that's what I was ultimately saying, man. Give Craig his flowers. Mm -hmm. And this I think what they're doing props. is, well, they're trying to lock in 80. Now that I were to talk about more, I think ADCC might be trying to lock in their top competitors that'll draw numbers, which is As why they they're should. paying them under the table. Um, but again, that's like to make sure that Craig doesn't sign their ass. You know what I'm saying? Well, now you got deals like watch, like, like, uh, now, you know, I, I don't know what I should be, shouldn't speak on because, um, uh, but, uh, like Wagner's going ADCC, right? Don't you think this guy had to do something to ensure that Wagner didn't go CJI? Probably because Wagner's a big name. They like to he's have him. A fucking beast. Yeah. He's a guy that could win. And like, he's been competing you know I mean? for a long time, so he's got a fan base. I'm sure they don't want to lose him, along with other guys. So those are the guys that they're paying, right? Probably. I, I don't know, but yeah. uh, to your point, yeah, this is new information. Like I said, you're teaching me this right now. I'm learning this from you. Oh, yeah. You know? So. Yeah, ask, ask Wagner. Like, awesome. you know, see what he says Which is about awesome, because now I got a new, you know, um, I'm sure I'm going to find out a lot more, you know, tomorrow in training. So it's it's really cool, but uh, got to give Craig his flowers even more because now he's he's forced these motherfuckers to drop the bag. <laughs> you got to love it. You got to love athletes getting paid, man. You got to. I'm an athlete. Like, I love it. I love it. Finally. It's like. What like uh thirty years too late, brother? Like this has been happening since I was a kid. I know these are the good times. Everybody's coming up in the good times now. It's kind of crazy, but everyone else right. kind of paved the way. You know, a lot of people. Whoa, paved the way. we're not gladiators anymore. We don't fight for free. Businessmen it's... slash like you know super skilled yeah. martial artists and shit. Yeah, yeah. 